Hi everyone, Christmas is near. During this festive time, I would like to show you all how to bake this flavorful and mouthwatering dish called Rocky Road Cake. This cake includes all kinds of textures, with it being spongy, slightly gooey, and rich in taste. Believe me, you can't resist the temptation of taking a large bite into the dessert. Be sure to like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Now, let's get to the ingredients necessary for this cake. If you're in need of a more detailed recipe with the correct metric system measurement of the ingredients, check the description below. It'll be there. To prepare the chocolate cake part of the Rocky Road cake, you will need one pack of any ready chocolate cake mix, one and a third cup of 1% milk, half cup of unrefined vegetable oil, and three large whole eggs. To prepare the cream cheese filling for it, you need one package of cream cheese softened, two cups of confectioner's sugar, half cup of butter, and one teaspoon of vanilla bean extract. Other mixins are one cup of finely chopped walnuts and pecans, one cup of shredded and desiccated coconut, and three-fourth cup of semi-sweet chocolate morsels. First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Keep the 13 by 9 inch baking pan greased and ready. Next, sprinkle the chopped nuts and desiccated coconut evenly on the bottom of the pan. After that, in a large mixing bowl, take cake mix, milk, oil, and eggs, and beat it well until it turns to a smooth batter. Pour the batter over the nuts and coconut layer. Now, in a separate mixing bowl, add the cream cheese, softened butter, confectioner's sugar, and vanilla extract, and beat it until smooth and creamy. Drop spoonful by spoonful of cream cheese mix over the cake batter. Do not mix it in when it's poured in. Just leave it like that. Sprinkle chocolate morsels over that. Bake for about 55 minutes or until the cake is done. In order to check, insert a toothpick at the center of the cake. That should come out clean. Remove from the oven and allow the cake to cool on a wire rack. Once cooled, cut and serve either warm or at room temperature. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and press the notification bell so you get a reminder of each and every video I post. Also, make sure to check out the other videos in my cooking playlist if you're interested. Enjoy your day!